The graph of the function f of x equals the absolute value of x is transformed in the following way. First, it is stretched horizontally by a factor of 2. Then it is reflected across the x-axis. And lastly, it is shifted up 8 units. Write the equation of the transformed graph and sketch it on the xy plane. We could do this in either order. We could use these transformations to transform the equation or to transform the graph, but I'm going to start with the equation. So we start with f of x equals the absolute value of x. Now we're told first it is stretched horizontally by a factor of 2. To stretch something horizontally by a factor of 2, what we need to do is replace x, because it's a horizontal stretch, with 1 half x. Remember, when we multiply x by a number that's between 0 and 1, that gives us a horizontal stretch. Stretching by a factor of 2 requires multiplying by 1 half. And so in this case, that would give us the absolute value of 1 half x. Then it is reflected across the x-axis. Reflecting something across the x-axis is a vertical reflection. And to do a vertical reflection, we need to replace our function with the opposite of the function. So this is going to end up being negative the absolute value of 1 half x. Then, after that, it is shifted up 8 units. To do that, we need to replace our function with the function plus 8 to shift up 8 units. So this is going to be negative the absolute value of 1 half x plus 8. And this gives us the equation for our final transformed function. So this is going to end up being the equation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use these transformations to transform the graph of the original function into the new one. So here's the graph of f of x equals the absolute value of x. Let's go through these transformations one at a time. First, it is stretched horizontally by a factor of 2. So each of these points needs to double the distance it is away from the y-axis. So this point here is one unit away. It needs to move so that it's twice as far, or two units away. This one is two units away. It needs to move twice as far, or four units away. This one is three units away. It needs to move twice as far, which is going to be six units away. The same thing is going to happen on the left. These points will move two, four, and six units away. The origin is going to stay where it is. So we've got those points there. Next, we want to reflect this across the x-axis. So all of these points that are above the x-axis are going to get reflected so that they become below the x-axis. So this point here that's three units above is going to end up being three units below. The next one will be two units below and then one unit below. The origin stays where it is. And then on the left, our points are going to be one, two, and three units below the x-axis. Then finally, we want to shift this up eight units. So each of these points is going to move up eight units. So this first one is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. That's going to end up being right here. Then the next one is going to move up eight units as well. That's going to put it here. And then the next one, 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 and then the next one. 
we've moved all of these points up eight units. And then once we have them all in place, we can sketch the graph of our new function, which is going to look like this. And this is the graph of the new function g of x equals negative the absolute value of 1 half x plus 8.